Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Veronica, aka V2 underscore VSG. So let's get this seven month, three week post op vertical sleeve gastrectomy video going. All right, so I'll start with my stats. My height is five and a half inch, five foot and a half inch. Yeah, I'm shorty. Um, highest weight is 234 pounds. Surgery weight was 225 to 221. Um, my lowest weight was 146.6 pounds, and my current weight is 150. So let's talk about weight gain. Let's talk about weight gain this week because it's been on my mind. Let's talk about the holidays. Um, I am doing a WLS edition Thanksgiving um, reflection separate, so I'm going to keep it minimal for this update. So let's talk about what's been going on and why I probably had this weight gain. So I have had not been doing the best food choices um, for a few days and then I did stop overall and all exercising and I believe that has definitely control, uh, been uh, a reason why my weight has been slowly going back up and plus Let's just say it, I had a cheat day on Thursday and on Wednesday for Thanksgiving. I am human, it happens, and I literally went up. So, what did I have? I will show you a video clip of everything that I ate, things that I made. Um, I did stay away of a lot of things, but I did introduce sweets back into my life, so I have to cut that off. Um, I definitely... Um, feel like that my body is a type of body that needs to be on a consistent um, schedule of what I put in my body, when I put in my body, and how much I put in my body. And I just started a new job, so I'm trying to balance it out. Um, I went from morning, goes my morning, vitamins, um, protein shake, lunch was a couple slices of turkey or um, basically turkey or chicken with some kind of like avocado or onions in the middle and then dinner was some type of fish or poultry and I have been kind of going back and forth with having a very heavy breakfast and then not eating lunch and waiting till 11 o'clock or so to eat dinner. And it was like a small portion of what I had for breakfast. So consistency is something I'm going to work on. And I'm going to see if that brings my weight down. I'm also picking up exercising. I have not followed up with the cardiologist um, due to schedules. But I will be getting on top of that shortly. Um, me too. I did speak with my PCP and I'm allowed to do exercise. Um, I do have to check my heart rate before, during, and after. Make sure everything is fine as long as I'm monitored. I'm good. I've not been symptomatic. Um, my follow-ups have been great with him. Um, so I'm still not veering away from seeing my cardiologist. Um, it's just because of my new job, I can't take any days off. And I already have four days off that I'm taking in January, um, non-paid, um, due to prior commitments. And yeah, should done that for cardiologists so um I'll be leaving to Florida in January just for a little girls trip with my mother and my sister one of my sisters and then um I have a prior commitment at the end of the month which is in the morning so I'm probably going to throw my cardiologist in the afternoon since I'm going to be in that area anyways so yeah I went up don't feel the best I was looking at these and this is what I should have had for breakfast but I did good because I did do about four ounces for breakfast this morning and it was nothing but uh, white turkey breast and that's 21 grams and I had a little bit of portion of pico de gallo but like two little scoops, not even two little scoops, I used a fork so like a couple bites of that and that was uh, 21 grams in total protein and one gram of um, carbs. So I'm going back on my bariatric pal and I am tracking my food. It's me holding myself responsible. It is the holidays, um, but that's not an excuse to overeat and overindulge. Um, I know that is not my problem. 
my problem is consistency and what I do choose to put in my body. Um, I have to lay off ice cream um, instead of eating it once a day, you know, or instead of eating it three times a day. <laughs> um, as a meal, I need to eat something food. Um, old habits do die hard. And it is part of this journey. I am seven months post-op and four pounds is four pounds. But I want to make sure that those four pounds either stay consistent or drop lower. Um, but that is my little week update. I will post pictures of my Thanksgiving feast. Yes, I cooked the whole Thanksgiving dinner. Um, and no, I didn't eat everything. I, had, I didn't take a picture of my plate, but I literally had turkey with gravy, mashed potatoes with gravy, and a small portion of my bomb stuffing because I just like, hello, I just love stuffing so much. But um, thank goodness for the stuffing part. Since it is bread and it expands in our stomach so much, I literally saved that for last. And I probably had like half of my turkey, a couple things of mashed potato, and like the smallest bite of stuffing. Because I, even though it was on my plate and I wanted to eat it, I felt bad eating it and... I'm glad I didn't eat it. <laughs> Alright, so thank you so much for watching my faithful subscribers and the pass on buyers and those just people just wanting to find out what this YouTube account is about. Thank you so much. I will be updating you guys next week. Probably going to keep doing my videos on a Saturday morning due to my schedule and the craziness that goes on in this house. So while they sleep, I shall do video. And stay tuned, I will be recording my WLS edition Thanksgiving dinner.